Hi everyone, the Island Stack here. Welcome to another video. So today I just wanted to have a quick discussion around a couple of coin releases from the Royal Mint that I've been notified by email. Um, so these are the two continuity sets that I have with them at the moment. So the first one is the Star Wars coin. So obviously we've had the C3PO and R2D2 coin. Now I wasn't expecting the next coin in this series to come out so quickly, but I had information sent to me the other day and payment was taken yesterday for the new coin, which has been released this morning, I believe. So it's the Darth Vader coin. Um, just a quick look on the website here uh, with one of the Sith Lords in the background. So it looks like this is launched um, with the same denominations as this coin. I had a quick look at the mintage numbers to compare, just wondering if the Royal Mint would have changed them because I don't believe this sold potentially as well as I think they were expecting it to. Uh, but all of the mint numbers are exactly the same for the new coin as they were for this one. Interestingly enough, I can't find the one ounce silver coin on the Royal Mint's website to compare it, but I've checked the COA that I have for this one and it's the same 3000 for this coin and the Darth Vader coin. So I'm not sure why this coin isn't on the Mint's website unless I wasn't looking in the right place, but um, I know the Royal Mint can hide things away in different categories every now and again, but I couldn't look at it, couldn't find it when I looked, but all the other mintages are the same for the 50Ps and the various other silver and gold coins. I also got an email the other day from the Royal Mint regarding the next in the Tudor Beasts coins. So this will be the fifth version or the fifth iteration of the series. So I have my four here. So the Lion of England, the Bull of Clarence, the Seymour Panther and the Yarl of Beaufort. Based on the image um, that was attached to the email, I believe the next Tudor Beast coin that we're going to get is the Unicorn of Scotland. So I have here the quarter ounce gold version that I have. I don't have the, the silver versions to compare with, um, but this is the, the gold version. So it'd be interesting to see how the Tudor Beast version of this coin compare. I have to say, based on the other designs, I think we're probably gonna get something similar with a slightly more, I'm not quite sure what the right word is, to describe the posing of the animals in the Tudor Beast coins, but it's di it's definitely different from the Queen's Beasts. So it'd be interesting to see what that comes out looking like. There was no images or potential images of how the design will look attached on the email, but that was due to come out on the 25th. So I believe that will be next week. So we'll see what the design looks like then. Um, so yeah. That'll be the number five. I'm not sure how the the ordering's working for some of the other ones. As I said, like this is the Seymour was the first coin to come out, but we haven't had the, the gold bullion versions of that yet. So again, similar to what they did with the Queen's Beast, I'm not sure why they're not um all simultaneous when this version of the coin comes out, the other ones come out, I'm not sure. Um and apologies for the, the pinging in the background. I should have muted uh, <laughs> my mens messaging system. Um, and also just a quick reminder for those who haven't done, um, I've got this half ounce year of the rabbit coin to give away once I hit 1000 subscribers. Um, I'll try and pop a, a link to the video for how to enter this in the description. So go enter if you haven't done already. Um, and that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you are getting either of the two coins that I've mentioned. Um, thanks very much and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers.